Have you ever watched a movie that made you feel so many different things? A Free Soul is one of those movies. It came out in 1931 and has lots of funny, surprising, and sad parts that'll keep you interested. The actors in it are really good and they make the movie even better. After you watch it, you might wonder what part of the movie stuck with you the most. Maybe it's a really emotional talk between the characters or a big surprise in the courtroom scene. And speaking of the actors, who did you like the most in this movie? There are some famous actors in it like Lionel Barrymore and Clark Gable. It might be hard to pick just one favorite. Now, when the movie ends, what's a special memory you have about it? Share your stories in the Kamala entrance below. We'd love to hear what you think. Keep watching for more interesting stuff. Get ready for a mix of emotions. There's a lot to explore in this classic film. A Free Soul, released in 1931, offers a compelling narrative that captures the essence of a changing era. The film follows the story of an alcoholic attorney and widower portrayed by Lionel Barrymore who defends a gangster gambler played by Clark Gable only to find his daughter portrayed by Norma Shearer becoming involved with Gable's character. Barrymore delivers an Oscar-worthy performance showcasing the complexities of his character's struggles. Shearer's portrayal is equally captivating as she navigates the shifting dynamics of her relationships. Set against the backdrop of 1931, the film subtly reflects the societal changes of the time, portraying a transition from the liberal attitudes of the Roaring Twenties to a more judgmental era. The characters, far from being one-dimensional stereotypes, are depicted with depth and nuance, adding to the film's engrossing narrative. The performances of the four main stars Gable, Howard, Barrymore, and Shearer are particularly noteworthy. Gable and Howard embody their respective roles with finesse, while Barrymore's portrayal of a man grappling with alcoholism is both poignant and inspirational. Shearer's character, in particular, stands out for her ability to Kamalantra in the screen, even in scenes shared with Gable. Despite its release over 90 years ago, A Free Soul remains relevant today, offering a timeless exploration of family dynamics, societal expectations, and personal redemption. It's a film that resonates with audiences, inviting them to reflect on their own values and beliefs. In conclusion, A Free Soul is a masterfully crafted film that transcends its era, delivering a compelling narrative and unforgettable performances that continue to captivate audiences to this day. A Free Soul, a film from 1931, features a notable scene in the courtroom, lasting 14 minutes, making it the longest continuous take in a Hollywood film shot in 35mm. This achievement was facilitated by the use of multiple cameras, as a reel of camera film typically lasts only 10 minutes. The movie also boasts a connection to American Mutoscope and Biograph through its producer, Thomas R. Bond Roman II, who is the second cousin of the film's producer. Additionally, the film's lead actress, Norma Shearer, has a familial connection to Philip and Anna Herschelman, who emigrated from Germany to Pennsylvania. This rich familial history adds depth to the context of the film and its production, offering a unique perspective on its creation and legacy. In 1931, a movie called A Free Soul came out. It has a really long scene in a courtroom that lasts for 14 minutes. This is the longest scene without stopping in a Hollywood movie made on regular film. They managed this by using many cameras because a reel of film only lasts for 10 minutes. The person who produced the movie, Thomas R. Bond Roman II, has a family connection to American Mutoscope and Biograph, which adds to the story of how the movie was made. The main actress, Norma Shearer, also has family ties that are interesting. One of the characters in the movie, Doiby Dickles, was the inspiration for a character in DC Comics. That's pretty cool. These details give us more insight into the movie's background and why it's important in film history. In the movie, Clark Gable's character was named Wilfong to steer clear of connections to crime groups. Before he became an actor, Gable worked in Oregon cutting down trees, but switched to acting in Hollywood because the lumber work was too tough. After acting in Somewhere I'll Find You, he joined the U.S. Army Air Corps as a private. These facts give us a better understanding of Gable's background and how he ended up in the movie. The producer and lead actress of the film had interesting family connections, too. Norma Shearer had relatives who came from Germany and settled in Pennsylvania. The producer also had ties to American Mutoscope and Biograph. One of the movie's characters even inspired a DC Comics character, showing how it left a mark on popular culture. All these details help us see the movie's importance in both film history and pop culture. 
1931, a film called A Free Soul hit the screens, telling a gripping story about human connections and changes in society. It follows the journey of an attorney battling alcoholism who defends a gangster gambler. The attorney's daughter gets involved with a gangster, leading to a tale of love, loyalty, and tough choices. A notable part of the movie is a 14-minute scene set in a courtroom, which was quite groundbreaking for its time. They managed to pull off this feat by using clever camera tricks, using multiple cameras to capture the scene seamlessly. The film also has an interesting backstory, with its producer having connections to a well-known film company. Clark Gable, who plays the gangster in the film, had a varied background before becoming an actor, working in the lumber industry. He shifted to Hollywood to pursue a less physically demanding career. Gable's role in the movie shows his versatility as an actor, demonstrating his ability to play different characters. A Free Soul isn't just a film, it has a broader significance. The lead actress, Norma Shearer, has family ties to Germany, which adds a personal touch to her performance. Additionally, a character in the movie inspired a character in DC Comics, showing its cultural influence and lasting relevance. In conclusion, A Free Soul remains a timeless classic that speaks to audiences, exploring human nature and societal norms. With its engaging story, memorable performances, and innovative film lamp-raking, the movie continues to captivate viewers and make a mark. A Free Soul from 1931 showcases a stellar cast, including Norma Shearer, Lionel Barrymore in his Oscar-winning performance, Clark Gable, and future Oscar nominees Leslie Howard and James Gleason. Interestingly, Leslie Howard and Clark Gable would later reunite in Gone with the Wind, portraying iconic characters Ashley Wilkes and Rhett Butler. Notably, Norma Shearer previously acted alongside her mother Edith Shearer in A Clouded Name in 1924, reflecting a rich history in the film industry. This ensemble of talented actors brings depth and authenticity to the film's narrative, making it a memorable piece of cinematic history. Released in 1931, the movie tells a gripping story about relationships and changes in society. It stars Norma Shearer, Lionel Barrymore, and Clark Gable. Shearer's performance stands out, showing her ability to capture attention with grace and depth. Barrymore plays an attorney struggling with alcoholism, delivering an outstanding performance. Gable portrays a charming gangster gambler. One interesting part is a 14-minute courtroom scene filmed in a single take showing innovative film alarm-tracking. The movie's producer, Thomas R. Bond Roman II, has connections to American Mutoscope and Biograph, adding an extra layer to its backstory. Beyond the movie, Gable's journey to Hollywood is fascinating. He worked in Oregon's lumber industry before becoming an actor. His role in the movie displays his acting range, setting the stage for his Hollywood success. Overall, the movie remains a classic that still connects with audiences today. Its compelling story, memorable performances, and creative filming techniques cement its place in movie history.